there's a move that's called a tour jeté. It's actually a jump and in the air you start, you launch going forward, and then in the air you scissor your legs and then you flip your body 180 degrees. And suddenly you're facing the other direction and you've moved your legs around. I think, I think that would be a great analogy <laughs> for the path that I've taken. I started out, I grew up figure skating. Um, did that competitively all the way through high school. At Georgia, I studied environmental economics and management. After graduation, I moved to Washington, D.C. and was working for a congressman. Even though I was living out my five-year plan, decided to reevaluate and reconsider what I wanted to do for a career. So I actually moved back to Atlanta and got back in the dance studio. Was offered a contract with a classical ballet company. Danced with them for a bit. Did a bit of freelancing. Um, it was fun. I enjoyed it, but I was ready for something different. Tech had unveiled this new online master's in analytics and I decided to apply. That love of numbers, I think actually it comes from a bit of creativity, um, looking at challenges and, and understanding that there, there can be many different answers and you can get to them many different ways. I think that data is, is very much an art um, as well as a science. This degree has been the most challenging thing that I have done in my life, um, which Ballet is pretty hard. I definitely understand why tech has the reputation that it does. It is incredibly rigorous, um, but really prepares you for, I think, the challenges of the real world. Oftentimes you are facing problems where there is not a clear answer um, and you're being asked to do something that nobody has ever done before, or at least you're not going to be shown the steps to do it. Um, and so that kind of grit and gumption to just work it out and figure it out on your own um, has been, been a, a huge help and great preparation.